My fellow magicians, the dawn is breaking on the stage that holds our final destiny. And so, my fellow magicians, let's all go to hell in a fast car and keep it hot. And on today's little pit stop, it looks like we have somebody, I don't know, looks like a workaholic to me. Somebody, could be y'all, could be someone in your energy, not sure. But someone um, is either working, it's like we work hard, the devil works harder, right? Or um, someone is overworking or someone has a bit of a toxic relationship with work, workaholism. No, no, baby. Now, it could be that this person, yes, it could be that this person is this way or you're this way because you have a particular vision in mind with the Seven of Cups and you are trailblazing your way to it. it ooh. I'm so sorry. She's going to be so mad at me now for the next like five minutes until it's F-O-O-D time. They know like that. If I start making the F sound, they'll flip out. Um, but you would be someone, if this is you, the viewer specifically, you would be someone who like you're working so hard because you have a particular destination in, in mind and you're going to make your way there. That's what you intend to do. And then finally, we are ending with main male and the nine of wands. So everything that I've described to you is yang energy and the main male is also the magician. With this nine of wands, um, that's going to be the result of workaholic. Like, th there's like exhaustion here. It's like, yes, you are getting things done. You've got all this stuff up, but it's just sort of like at what cost, right? Because this person has like a bandage on their head. So it might be a good time to evaluate, you know, work-life balance. Are we doing too much? Um, do you need more rest? Do you need more playtime? And can you make that for yourself, okay? Let's get into the tarot specifics on this. Toil and labor. Yeah, this is someone who wants a particular sort of success and will likely get it, okay? We have the Six of Wands and the Princess of Coins or the Page of Coins. This is someone who gets a particular fulfillment from like successfully producing something getting a job done or even making money and so like the thing is i would guess that this person does get genuine fulfillment from this but it's also an addiction it's like i've seen that i can do like this like what if i could do like this much more and so it's also a bit of an addiction loop for this person it also might be a point of pride for whoever this is this person might get um, an external source of validation from being seen as someone who can get a lot done. And then underneath this pathway seven of cups, we have the three of cups. So this might be someone who has the mentality of work hard, play hard. Like I'm doing all of this work now. Um, I am making these sacrifices so I can, like it's having something that I want later, like enjoying myself. Um, and so underneath the main male and nine of wands, we have the two of wands. So someone looking towards the future, most likely, or someone trying to determine a best course of action for themselves at this point. They might um, have reached or be reaching kind of a fork in the road with what it is that they're doing and they need to make a decision coming up or you need to make a decision. So let's go around again with the big deck. Justice balance. This is either asking for whatever this is, this is calling for like work, like some sort of balance, like in you or this person's life. Tell me about this devil. Tell me about this devil. I want to know a little bit more details about this, about what's going on here, because I'm seeing positive energy underneath, um, underneath these cards, and it might not be necessarily a toxic behavior pattern, but this could just be saying somebody is working like the devil for a particular reason, and it's like fine for now, even though they are like making sacrifices or you are making sacrifices. I just wanna check it, right? Because when you are in a toxic feedback loop that is going to be societally rewarded, that gets dangerous and typically has ramifications more long-term than short-term. So I just wanna check it, okay? Because I don't care what society says, I'm gonna tell you the truth. So at least you can make an informed choice. The lovers underneath here and the Ace of Swords. 
Okay, this devil. The Ace of Cups. So that lovers wasn't a mistake. Love my work. Eight of Cups. King of Wands. Well, there's our Yang, our main male. Yang, 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 Yang. Do, 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 do. Um, Ace of Cups. I don't know. This might be someone who... Um, when I'm saying disassociates through work, it's like um, they don't deal with their emotional problems. They just work. Uh, Ace of Cups. Or they ignore their feelings through work. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is like, um, I don't want to see this truth. I don't want to see this truth, so I'm just going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, well, I'll look at what that justice is. So what about this Three of Cups? This person has a particular vision. The King of Swords and the Five of Cups. I don't know, y'all. I think this person is... Um, This is someone who's ignoring something. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to work. I'm going to have fun over here. I'm going to go down this pathway. But it's like because like th the three of cups is covering up the king of swords and the five of cups. So this is like someone putting a band-aid on something. And it's whatever this ace of cups, like this ace of cups, eight of cups, ace of swords. So what's this two of wands? The Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords, it's... I don't know, someone has to... Someone has to decide whether or not they're gonna stay in this or they're gonna move out of it, Six of Swords. Um, so someone has an opportunity. It's whatever this is. The, the, to me, the most important thing about this read is whatever this Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords is. This is what this person is ignoring through whatever it is that they're doing like with work or like friends, partying, like these, these could be romantic options. If they are, it's very, very casual, but I'm not super getting sexual on this but it's something that i'm doing to distract myself um and then this is important over here this two of wands eight of um eight of swords six of swords so let me go ahead and clear some of this out and we will look at the important things because i don't care how this person is distracting themselves from the truth we care about what the truth is so First of all, let's see if we can find out what it is that this person's avoiding, okay? What is this truth that this person is currently avoiding? Okay. Well, we have a feminine energy here that this either, it's not, okay, it's a separate person. So this person, we've got death, the moon, and the queen of cups. There's like some powerful uncertainty on a queen of cups. Death and the moon, like I would have to do very deep work. Like there's some sort of deep transformation or this energy is associated if it, so here's the thing sometimes right um when it comes to other people friendships family romantic partners whatever we can sense if we go towards another person that person is going to be like the energy surrounding them is going to be a powerful catalyst for change if i go towards this person I know consciously I will have to change to go towards them. I will have to examine things. Just thinking about this person is bringing things up that I know I would have to change or getting involved with this person would change me. I can sense that. And so uh, that makes me afraid with the moon, death, the moon, big change. I'm afraid of that. And it's attached to whoever that queen of cups is. 
So I'm gonna ignore this and like carry on with what I've been doing. So I'm gonna go around again on this, but I think that that's, that's what's going on here. If it's not a wheel of fortune, yeah, this is like, that's crazy. This is crazy energy. Whether it's attached to another person or not, um, there is something, if that queen of cups is not a person, I keep getting it is a person. It's sort of like there's something life changing about this interaction or whatever this is. And you know, people aren't necessarily ready for that. Even if they like people, if they, you know, would like to be in relationships with people, whatever. The devil, like with that devil card that came out, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Okay, so the moon, five of cups. So this person, essentially this person is triggered. This person is triggered by whatever's going on over here. And so they don't want to deal with it. Okay, this queen of cups, judgment. Ooh, Lord. Um... <laughs> This Queen of Cups might have said something to this person. I don't know. No, it's like this person knows. Whoever that King of Wands is, this person knows down to their core how much work it would take to like, like, we got the judgment on this Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool. In order to be over here and carefree with this person would require a lot of energetic work for me, the moon five of cups. Like I would have to deal with this in order to be free. And thus far, this person is making the choice, right? To imprison themselves, not to be free. Um, most people do not want to be liberated. Um, they want, like, the prison that they're most comfortable with, really? Um, okay. So let me get our, I'll take the main mail. We'll take the main mail and the Queen of Cups, okay? And we'll look at that a little bit before I move on to this person's decision. They have to make a decision, it's big decisions, okay? And it does look like a significant one. Can you tell me a little bit about what have, um, okay, we're good. What has transpired between these two? If it is not two, please correct me. What is going on? Um, There's some sort of, there's some sort of like serious, it's like a spiritual or energetic connection between these two, whatever it is. And what is on the main male side is the page of pentacles. What is on the queen of cups side is the six of pentacles. Um, in between is temperance, but this is like forces. This is like the two cups, but like this is the two of cups. We have the two of cups here pouring into each other. So this main male is supposed to do something. Likely it is give something to this person. Um, or they're both supposed to do this. Like this is supposed to be some kind of um, lesson in reciprocity between people. Like, yes, I am giving you, like the main, the magician, the main male is saying, I am giving you something. And in the giving you something, I am also getting something back. That's like what these two people, I'm gonna go ahead and say contracted, okay? I don't, what these two people have like at least energetically kind of agreed to do and the forces have gone, yes. And now we got this person here, I guess getting cold feet. I'm gonna go around again. Page of Pentacles, they're, yeah, this person is now, they're kind of like, they've either left 
or are trying to leave, they're trying to put their back to it. Um, after they agree to it, and it's sort of like, ah, hanged man is kind of like, I don't know that that's going to work for what's already transpired. It's sort of like you, hey, the forces are going to kind of snatch somebody up, perhaps. Yeah, now there's conflict over here. Five of Wands. Um, I'm going to get another one on this Five of Wands underneath the Six of Coins. Oh, it's because, like, it's like, no, it's like this person, it's the main, it's the main male causing the conflict, okay? It's the main male causing the conflict by whatever behavior that they're doing. Um... And again, like we've been getting so much push-pull energy on this. It's like someone has agreed to do something they also don't want to do. And that's the same kind of energy from yesterday. It's like, yes, I want to do this. No, I don't want to do this. Hanged man. But now I'm suffering because there is something genuinely here. All right, um, you know what? I'm clearing this because I wanna skip, I don't care anymore. I wanna skip right to this person's decision. Um, can we get information please about what decision this person's gonna make? Because I, like, um, I'm, I'm at my limit, bestie. All right, this person's decision I knew it wasn't gonna be easy. We had all we had like a watch until you see this run of positive cards, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this person. Oh my it's the same shit from yesterday. Essentially what we have here is someone like literally blocking a divine blessing. Here is what this person knows. The lovers, the knight of cups, the hierophant, the ten of cups. That's what they know. Okay, that's what they know about this situation. That there is literally some sort of like divine literal connection between whoever these two people are that is literally like the Ten of Cups. And what is between, like at the very end, who's here? The Emperor. Okay, the Emperor is here. What is separating the Emperor from all of this? Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. And I'm not here for it, y'all. I'm really not. Um, I, like, if y'all know this person or whatever, I'm gonna pull cards. Here's what I would say to you. I don't fuck with it. Like, I kinda don't care. This, uh, it's sad that this is the case, but it's just sort of like, I do not want to feed energy into this bullshit, okay? Because And that's what I want to tell y'all. I don't care what someone's genuine feelings are. If they are stuck in this shit, like, clock it and start, like, if you have genuine feelings for this person, what I would suggest to you is that you start, like, if, even if you see a reading on it, even if you see a title for a reading on it, click off. Don't click on it. Start cutting, start cutting the energetic cords because this is like, this isn't something that you need to be involved in. And if someone is bitching out on something that they have already agreed to, that should tell you something about somebody's character, that should tell you something about the way somebody's gonna operate within, even if you got into a relationship with this person, that shit is not gonna go away. Okay, and these are my, I'm not, I'm going to pull cards and I'm going to get Jesus and Bob and all that. These are my personal opinions from looking at this. 
And it's just sort of like, if it was me in this situation, I would cut the energy. And I'm gonna do that as a reader because this has been popping up and it's just like, I don't care. I don't care. This person does not, they don't have any business making relationship contracts or whatever soul connections with anyone. We'll check in with, God, where is this? Let me check in with this Iraphan here. Let me check in with that. I'll check in with that. I'll check in with the contract, bestie, okay? But it's just like, just because there is a connection does not mean that that connection will out. It simply won't, okay? So um, what am I going to pull here? What am I going to pull on this? Um... Is this person going to do anything about this? Relatively soon. Let's see. It's possible that there will be a positive shift here. Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords, the star that this person is going to accept what they feel. Because that's what this is. This, this is the fighting. I'm fighting the fact that there is a connection here. I'm fighting the fact that there are genuine feelings here. I'm fighting the fact that something's going on. I, like, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. The Queen of Swords, star suggest that this person might accept the truth four of cups um yeah but it's just sort of like i mean you see how that person's looking at this it's just sort of like do you really want to deal with a person who's unenthusiastic about experiencing like a genuine love and connection with another person is that what you want because it's just like for me ain't nobody got time for that Six of Pentacles. I don't know. It seems like this person may do something. Um, they're going like it's, but it's just like I don't like. I don't. I just don't. And I know it's not. It's not me. It's not me. I don't know this person's reasons. And frankly, I don't care about this person's reasons. Um, it, it's just I'm looking at it. I always put myself in the position of like the receiver. Um, and it's just sort of like, I don't want to fuck with somebody who's only fucking with me, like half-hearted because they have unresolved crap that they're not doing anything about, okay? Like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here for it, but I have, I'm going to check on this contract for y'all with the cards because this is not my contract, it's y'all's. So, um, let's see here, King of Cups. It seems like this person is going to get into their emotions we shall see i guess um doubt you know me doubt and so what i would say to you just personally bestie to bestie girl to non-gendered girl okay is that i would not be overly concerned with whoever this is and I would make sure, right, that if you are, you know, maybe looking at readings, if it's stressing you out the way this person's behaving, if you are, like, already kind of involved with this person, I would tell you, right, just go cold turkey on it. Um, I would say try your best to just keep your mind off of the situation. Um, that's going to be hard because it looks like there, there's, like, something here. And that's always way more challenging to do. But um, we'll pull on that for y'all. For advice for the people who are on the receiving end and not on the acting end. If you're on the acting end and you're listening to this, like, get your shit together. Like, I don't care. Like, I get out, okay? Like, get your shit together. Let's check on this contract. What is going on here? Man, I don't know. We're going to have to talk about soul contracts again what that actually actually means because like people think those things are permanent and they're not or like it's something that is like planted on you like by the divine itself and it's it's really way more of like a an interdependent process to form a connection like that or a contract 
and it is something that you can dismantle. It's not something that is like, this is written stone and it's not going anywhere. It's not true, okay? Um, it's way more like if two people here on earth agree, here I am in the midst of them. That's what the, a soul contract or whatever is. Um, but it's not something that like, oh, and it's for lifetimes and eons. Like, please, come on. Like, you've had connections with people and you've lost connections with people. Okay, this is no different. The Hierophant. So the Hermit is here. The Knight of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. The, I, let me get on this hermit because I'm just saying this is some sort of deep. This is like a, some sort of legitimate deep thing. I don't know. like, And it's tied to this person, that King of Pentacles. And they're just like, girl... But the hermit is suggesting like deep, um, unless I get something else on this. Ten of Pentacles, like, this is like, girl, this is like, this contract is for like someone's like unlimited abundance and happiness and life legacy, like with another person that they like and they're like, no. Do you see why I don't want to read this shit? Because what the fuck? Like, I don't have time. No, if you don't, girl, if you don't want it, like, move, get out of the way so that another candidate can be, because that that's, that's the ish, y'all. That's the ish. When someone does some sort of crap like this, they are not the only one, okay? They are going to have likely with something like this, okay? There's a period of time given to a person and if they do not get their shit together they will simply be moved aside and another candidate will like be prepared or be presented whatever because it's just like no um eight of pentacles underneath this knight of cups this is also about some sort of work that this, these two people are supposed to do because like i said this is about like love and money like this is like death and it's there is some sort of transformative process that is supposed to go on with this person the person who's like bitching out right now okay so that's what the contract is at this point should that i'm going to ask because those were all my opinions about like what y'all should do I am going to ask because you, if there's like forces involved in this, you actually can't just like do whatever the fuck you want or else like you could like harm yourself in a particular way. At this time, is it within the collective, the whoever is like receiving this person, the people who aren't bitching out right now, is it within their best interests and also within the divine order that has currently been established for these people to begin dissolving this connection. Let me not say what I just got because I just got an intuitive answer. I want the card before I say this. All right, now I got the intuitive no on this. It is not in your best interest to do this yet, but I've got Three of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Moon. I'm gonna pull again. I think I understand if the no is correct and if what I'm about to tell you resonates for you as a person, okay? We're gonna ask for some guidance here. All right, here's why we're getting the intuitive no about moving to sever this connection or like working on it on your end. 
it would be likely that whatever is going on right now is hurting you, okay? Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. Like you're feeling burdened by this because there is some sort of like connection here that's real, okay? I'm not like, this is not any kind of like bullshit, all right? There is something that you want, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. There, I want something. Likely, it's whatever this person has agreed to do, all right? In, in the 5D or the energetic realm, whatever. They agreed to it or else the connection wouldn't be there. And then we have the Moon and the Ten of Cups. If you are someone who does not like to deal with uncertainty. The Queen of Wands can also be feisty and impatient. The Queen of Wands can have anger issues. Um, I'm not getting anything like too crazy here, but it's sort of like something that would be being asked of you at this time is patience, temperance. We've got a temperance twice. Um, can you, as the receiver, right, allow things to unfold? Without bailing yourself, maybe. That's why I check on these things. I'm, really like, I'm telling you something you might be called to a different sort of lesson that is within the contract. Can you, okay, be patient? Can you sit in the discomfort of uncertainty? Because I understand that there's something that you want and that it would be especially hurtful because this person has also agreed that they want it too. And now all of a sudden they like did a reversal. They tried to do a reversal in the energy because of something that they don't want to look at. Okay. Um, which is hurtful. However, regardless of whether or not I think that person is trash, they are a whole person and they have like, the death, that's like a radical transformation, a radical change, a radical departure for this person. And can we, here's the thing, and it's why, I'm gonna tell you why I get irritated with stuff like this is because I know, and I don't know y'all, but I know me. And for me, I've never been one to shy away from radical change when it has been presented to me. Like I take on the work and so that's why when I see this kind of stuff in the energy and on the board, I do get real irritated. I do, girl, non-gendered girl, because it's just like, <sighs> I just got, not everybody's like you or not everybody's like y'all, okay? Um, and it's true, most people are gonna do anything but therapy, anything but the truth, like, <laughs> It is kind of the way of man, man whose breath is in his nostrils, okay? Um, human beings are fallible and um, this is a big deal, whatever it is. And so the issue with the soul contract, a soul contract and energetic tie, whatever we're talking about here is that there is time granted to a person, okay? Like nobody's perfect. Um, and so it's sort of like, if what I am telling you would be called for you to do right now, you know deep down, yes, I am impatient. Yes, I do. Like I, I'm sometimes, I am only thinking about what I want and not what is actually best for another person. I do get like that. I don't like sitting in uncertainty. I, like, I do just kind of want to like, you know, let's go already, let's get, okay? If that speaks to you, for now, with whatever this is, you would be called to sit with that. 
because just like this person, even if you got into a relationship right now, like in the timing that you wanted or whatever, they're going to bring that, whatever that five of swords, seven of swords is, it's going to be for the entire relationship. And like they would bring that, you would also bring this. So it would kind of be this constant um, friction between the two of you going on that if you just allow things to be as they are, temperance, it is possible the two of you will work these things out in the energy apart before coming together for a less resistant union, right? Um, so let me see if I want to ask anything else. I'm kind of curious about how this all came to be, but like, you know what? It's the Hierophant and Temperance. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'll ask this. Can we know about time? How long, like what, what signs would there be that the people who are on the receiving should let this go. Because I always find that so dangerous, y'all. There's a whole cottage industry of, like, people, like, keeping people in, like, like this BS, Eight of Swords type shit about soul contracts and, like, all of this stuff that they would just be better off letting go. Um, and just moving on. So I want... What would be a sign that it's time to start letting this go? That the time is up, girl. The sign would be, it's essentially no communication. You would eventually be receiving communication. Seven of Wands, Princess of Swords, Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands, Princess of Swords is resistant to communication. No communication. Knight of Swords, peace we out. Just like that. So, um, like, for how long? The Magician? Might have to do some work on that. I don't know. The Emperor. It's something about the other party. The other party is going to give you some sort of sign. It seems like no communication though, but I'm like, I want a time. It could be a style of communication. If you're getting like that manipulative shit from this person, that's the sign. Is this days? Again, yes. All right, here's a sign. And I'm liking that it's a short time period. We have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords here. Two things. If within, I'm going to say 12 days till the end, because here's the thing for November, if you are just watching this video and you have not watched the November 2024 vibes, the November 2024 vibes, so this is kind of in line with the monthly vibes, right? There was a certain contingency of the collective that will have communication from soulmates. So that's why this is going on. Um, and I believe in that reading, there was also something about someone being resistant. I don't really remember. And for some people, it was like the same person, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go ahead and say, right? If... From now, okay, or from whenever you're seeing this read, but this is especially for people who, like, they're on the channel current, okay? If 12 days elapse, starting from when I post this, and you either hear nothing from this person, or the communication is manipulative and weird, and you feel it deep down inside, that's how you know that that's your sign, no communication or fucking weirdo communication. 
you gotta go. You gotta start cutting the cords, girl, all right? Non-gendered girl, because this could, we could be talking about the embryo, it's an all non-gendered, okay? Um, someone's being evasive with you or non-communicative, that is the sign. So this is a short duration, all right? So we're gonna say 12 days, begin the process of removing this person from the energy. If you reach the end of the month, like you should already start on your process after 12 days, okay? By the end of the month, if you have heard nothing or if it is bullshit communication from this person, that's it, okay? That's it. We end, Somebody else will be prepared or whatever, okay? This is not, this is not end all, be all, like through every iteration of every dimension ever, you're in a shit-tastic, awful relationship with another human being who can't get it together, all right? That is not this channel and um, backed up by the cards and the divine. So let's go ahead and get our final advice outcome and then officially close with the son and the father. Ooh, I feel this energy. This energy is, I feel it in my chest. Girl. It's like, it's unpleasant. So I completely empathize, okay? And working through it does not feel pleasant either. Final advice outcome. Ugh. Well, let me pull another row before I make my comments. Final advice outcome. It is looking like currently we have a positive result, okay? It is looking like whoever is the person who is supposed to be communicating they are going to work through whatever this barrier is and it is seeming like they will have successful emotionally available communication action will be taken towards you okay but don't forget what i said about okay because energy energy is shifting constantly okay but that is what it is looking like right now all right so i'm going to show you what i've got here on the first top row because i was just like girl this could mean a lot of things Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands. The success through this turmoil on the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, the begrudging acknowledgement of the truth, right? Which we saw that, I don't care for it, but it's reality, this is reality, okay? On the Nine of Swords, the Sun, clarity, acceptance, all right? And then after that, underneath the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, action. Final row underneath this three of swords, four of cups, the ten of coins, some sort of recognition that there is some sort of like big deal, like legacy attached to this. Okay. Whether that's just creating a family with somebody, whether it's just creating a nice like marriage or long-term relationship, business, all of it, whatever it is, there is something very significant attached to this thing. Okay. And so whoever this is, is like recognizing that. Underneath the Nine of Swords in the Sun, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This person, when they move, okay, because like we have the Knight of Wands, that is direct action, but this person, it's not so much, they're going to be slow to act, but it's sort of like, this is, whoever this is, is like a, a solid person. And so I'm kind of liking the Knight of Wands with that Knight of Pentacles a little bit, but it's sort of like, What I would say about your expectations of the communication, it's going to be open-hearted. We're ending with the King of Cups, okay? But this is not someone who's all of a sudden going to be like swanning in and being like, you are my one and only, la, 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 and everything else. Whoever this person is, they're not going to be evasive. If you are getting the mega happy timeline outcome, they are going to be careful, okay? Because the Knight of Pentacles is also guarded. Like, it's a caution that is on this person, but it is looking like they're going to be direct about it. They're going to be emotionally available once whatever this is has worked out. So remember what I said, 12 days after 12 days, start dissolving after the month, do the big time work. And I'm sure that if I am telling you that, 
we are going to get some continuous updates on whatever this is. So my fellow magicians, let us all reach out and touch faith and get a little bit of our own personal Jesus on this. Ooh, we got extra Jesus. Jesus knows we need him today. Jesus. Extra support. Jesus says, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Um, the forces are like working on this person's guilt is all I can tell you. They're just like, I'm sorry. What? You think you can just back out of this bitch? Like we are the celestial mafia. Ho. Like, come on. So they're like turning the screws on this person a little bit. Jesus also says, everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never die. And that's just sort of like, don't get too attached to one person, right? Just because something does not work out with one person does not mean that it's not going to work out for you. You just have an open contract or whatever. That's all. Because this doesn't feel like, um, this doesn't feel like some sort of tumultuous like ongoing horrible thing that's been going on between you and another person. I don't know what this is. Um, but it's sort of like, just don't like, I know it's disappointing and it can hurt when someone established a connection with you and then they like, like what? Like, oh no, I got, and it's just like, okay. Like that's very jarring. So I want to validate that for you that like, it, like what you're feeling is completely normal. Um, and also that it is likely not something that is like gonna forever go like unfulfilled, right? Like you're gonna most likely end up with a match, okay? I can't guarantee that for you, nobody can, but like it's likely, okay? Jesus also says, ask and you will receive that your joy may be in full. So this is what I'm saying. It's just sort of like, Whoever you are, you already know you've already asked and you agreed. You're like, yeah, no, I want this. This other person did the same thing. They asked and now it's like, okay, we'll hear it. And it's just like, oh, no, no. That's what's so bizarre about that. Like, it's not, but like, I'm saying it's bizarre. I understand it perfectly. It's just annoying. Um, Jesus also says, I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. So this is sort of like... We're looking at the progression of understanding in this other person. It's sort of like, hey, remember you asked for this? And so like, oh yeah, I did kind of do that. Like I did like, oh, like I did kind of say this. And like, I do like, this is like, this is exactly what I want. So why am I, why am I running away from exactly what I want? Oh, kind men find that they are really cool, cruel. Brave men find that they are really cowards. When confronted with their true selves, most men run screaming. Okay, it's the final test, the magic, the final countdown, the magic mirror test. Oh my God, Atreyu. Jesus finally says, freely you have received. Freely give. And here's what's trash about this. At the moment, this person asked for something from God, whether they knew that or not. They asked for something from, they wished upon a star, bitch. And the divine went, here it is. They gave to this person freely. And then this person spat in everyone's face. And so it's the reminder, uh, freely you have received. And now you want to withhold? Lisa, all right, so Jesus is on everybody's side. Well, Jesus is on the receiver's side or whatever. It's just sort of like, I don't know what you think this is, sir, sir, madam, but it's not that. Not today. Okay, so let's officially close with the words of the highest authority. That highest authority, of course, being Bob. Our Father who art in heaven. We close with the word of Bob that is good all the time. And what I would tell you, Collective, is is that most likely whoever that person is, if they do like fuck up, I don't know, like there's gonna be some kind of retribution for that, um, at least on their end. It's not gonna touch y'all. I don't know if it'll be minor or major, but that person is essentially what they're doing right now. 
That is how you curse yourself. Like, for, I'm not joking, for really real. It's something, it's not something that is just done to you. It is something that you do. And so that's why I'm so particular about like energy mechanics and all that. I get bent out of shape because I'm looking at it happening. And I'm trying to tell people and it's just like, all right, nobody listened to me. I knew this card was coming out from Bob. See, Bob is reading bitches today. Bob says, that's a crooked tree. We'll send him to Washington. Get Let's see what else Bob says. Bob says, now then, let's wash the old brush. That's the part of this whole technique, okay? Shake off the excess and just beat the devil out of it. You can't pour new wine into old wineskins. Whoever this person is cannot have it both ways. And I would say, likewise, the receiver cannot have it both ways too. But I do not see a problem. Is there a problem with the receiver? No, how it, like... The major problem is with this other person. However, what I described to you for working on your own stuff, that is still important, okay? We can't really like blame and project onto another person. There are still things that like y'all or we or whoever can be doing on the receiver's end, okay? It's more um, for y'all, if you are the receiver, it's more gonna be like fine tuning and polishing. And seriously, that's very valuable for you to go through with this. So like, even if this shit like completely shits out, if you um, do what is being suggested of you or asked of you at this time, when the next candidate arrives, you're gonna have even less to do most likely. Um, and it's gonna be like more, like it's gonna be easier is what I'm saying. But this like can't pour old wine into new, can't pour new wine into old wineskins, that's just, that's whatever transformation that this person is being called to go through. That like, and that's what this person is running away from. It has, and that's another thing. It has nothing to do with you, babe. It has nothing to do with, so if you're, oh, what's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. This person is afraid of whatever is being genuinely asked of them and something that they asked for themselves. That's all. You're great. I'm sure you're beautiful. I'm sure you're wonderful. Okay. You can't control this person. Bob finally says, I look forward to seeing you again. Happy painting. God bless my friends. So my fellow magicians, this is reality and I am your GM, your game master for this, the game of life. But it is we who are the greatest magicians of the age and perhaps the greatest magicians of all time. And together, you and I will still perform the greatest magic trick of all time. No matter what outcomes we get with elections, soulmates, whatever. We will reverse the polarities of the world, make America great for once, fly this boat to the moon somehow, shift the world onto the mega happy timeline, perhaps leaving it a much better place than it ever has been before. Because, my fellow magicians, nothing stays. In 50 years or so, it's going to change, you know. But oh, it's heaven nowadays.